Before wrapping up this section, let's start with splitting our data set into some halves. Now, why do we need to split our data set? So, if you could recall, we have our training model. So, this is our training model where we pass in data that is our training data and then there is an evaluation matrix that is some test data and then we have our train data so we pass in our train data over here so that helps in training the data this is our ml algo and this is our let's say evaluation matrix em now what we do is a train data from the data our machine learning algorithm will be learning out then we will passing out some other data from which it can just predict out how good our model is working so what i mean by this is let's say a model this this model has been clarified from the training data and in this we will be passing out our test data from the test data it will just check our test data will be somewhere in like this format so let's say this is a triangle and for that we have t for a circle we have c okay in our training data if it is able to predict a triangle as t it will just store it out a circle as c it will just store it out and then from these labels which is y dash this is y from these two it will just say how good our model is how good model is so that's how why we need to split our data so where to get our test data so let me show you how to get our test data rather than importing a new data set what we are going to do is let's assume this is our complete data set and over here we have the labels over here we have the features okay. all of these are some sort of features okay. we have a bunch of features let's say the same housing price prediction problem and over here we have price and let's see. let's take some features over here now what we are gonna do is we will take some of this data to train we are not going to take any new data but we are going to take some of this data so we are going to take some of this data for training and some of this data for testing so we will split the data set in some ratio mostly we do it in 80 by 20 ratio so our data set looks something like this so that's an 80 to 20 data set split now let's say we have n equals to 100 so n is the number of examples number of examples so we have 100 examples and we have to split it so 80 percent of the data will be used for training and 20 percent of the data will be used for testing okay now if we have somewhere between 1 million n equals to 1 million then we are going to use 8 lakh of it for train and 2 lakh of it to test that's how we can split our data set now 80 20 ratio is something which i prefer but again you can use it now one more thing that we have is again from the training set we can take a cut of it and we can do validation set so from the training set that we had so this was our this was our training set and this was our test set okay from this where we will be just checking out how good our model is test and this is train now what we can do is we can break the training set again on a validation set okay so again this will be somewhere between 20 percent of the data so what this validation set or data set or this block is used for is to do hyperparameter tuning to check out which model is the best model if you take the complete data the training will be much more slower so we use a validation data set once we learn about some algorithms then we are going to learn with uh, validation what we mean by k-false validation and then you might get a clearer picture on this but in a nutshell what i usually do is i'll take my data set 
So let's rub everything off right now. Now what I'll do is I'll take my complete data set, break it into 6020 first of all, 6020, somewhere 6020. This will be test and again break this 60 to somewhere into 20, oh, sorry, 80. Oops. 80 20 and then again break this 20 percent as my validation set and keep this 60 percent for training so 60 percent of my data will be for training 20 percent of my data will be for validation and 20 percent of my data will be for test so as of now we should be just focusing on the 80 20 split that is the train test split and we will just execute it in a Jupyter notebook. The validation set we will get inside of this much later in, in this course. So let's start with the 80-20 or any ratio whichever you are comfortable with that kind of split. Now before ending this video let me tell you about the notations that we are going to use when we use string test split. So this is a library in sklearn which will just help us to split out our data set. Now the notation over here will be something like this. So we have this big data set. Inside of this we have these labels. So x is always known as features. Features are nothing but columns and y is known as labels. So this is our X and this is our Y. We will then split it into two different halves. So something will be for train and some will be for test. So what we are going to do is we will be having first the training part. So let's say this is for the training part. Over here we will be having X. So it will be x train and then y train similarly we will be having small test set so it will be having x test and y test so that's the notations that we are going to follow and that is what exactly sklearn follows x train y train for train and for the test set, we have x test, y test. So let's jump into a Jupyter notebook in our next video.